Hi, I'm Miss Rebecca Newbern, and I've been teaching math for about 16 years. And you know, just the other day I was at a conference and I met a woman who is Indian, and she taught me a different way of finding the least common multiple and the GCF that I had never seen before. And I thought it was so fascinating. It's the best method I've seen so far, so I wanted to share it with you. So first off, um, the least common multiple. Um, and the greatest common factor, there's lots of different ways to do it, and I think the nice thing about us being more of a global society is we can actually find other methods that might be better than the ones that we know. For example, this one. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you kind of want to write your numbers down and then ask yourself what goes into, you know, what common factors do 24 and 18 have? So maybe you just see two. Sometimes some of you might have seen six as it. And so what you ask yourself is, okay, 2 goes into 24, how many times? 12. 2 goes into 18, 9 times. And then you just keep repeating the process. What number goes into both of those numbers? Well, 3 is a common factor of both of those. And then you just see 3 goes into 12, how many times? 4. 3 goes into 9, 3 times. And then you ask, do these two numbers have any common factors? No, nothing goes into both of those. So at this point, we have actually found the greatest common factor, or the GCF. So the GCF is 2 times 3, or 6. And the least common multiple, the thing that I like about this diagram is the least common multiple actually makes an L. So it's right here, because these are the last digits that we came out. And so right here, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. And 24 times 3, well, that's uh, 3 times 20 is 60, and 4 times 3 is 12, so that's 72 is the least common multiple. This diagram is also really nice. Some of you might have seen my Venn diagram, which I like, but I'm ready, I'm ready to let it go because I like this method better. Because the thing is, if I had a third number, let's say 15, well, if I had a third number, I can use this method still, and it's, it's not too cumbersome. So once again, ask yourself what number goes into 24, 18, and 15. And the number that I see is 3. So 3 goes into 24 8 times, 3 goes into 18 6 times, and 3 goes into 15 um, five times. And then you ask yourself, out of these three numbers, do all of them share a common factor? Well, these two do, but they don't all share a common factor. So at this point, I've actually found my GCF. However, I can simplify the problem a little bit more because some people might have a hard time multiplying eight. So at least common um, so what you want to do is you actually, I think I'm, this, I'm new to this, so I'm kind of like figuring this out as I go. So what you want to do is you want to keep pulling out common factors so you don't keep multiplying them in there twice. So you're going to keep going through the process, but this is your GCF. So ask yourself, does anything go into all of them? No, but I can see that 2 goes into both of those. So 2 goes into uh, 8 four times, and 2 goes into 6 three times, and it doesn't go into 5 at all, so I'm just going to bring that down. This may not be the exact method, but hopefully you get the picture. And then you can make your own video and upload it. Um, and then ask yourself, does anything go into all three of these? No. So at this point, I have my L. And what I get for my least common multiple is 6 times 4. That's 24. 24 times 3. I think we just did that one. Oh, no, we didn't do that. That's uh, 60 plus, yeah, four, that's 72. And then 72 times 5. So 70 times 5 is 350 um, plus 2 times 5, which is 10. So 350 plus 10 is 360 is the LCM. So you can imagine if we had to go through all the multiples, like 24, 48, you know, like after that, people get a little fuzzy. So this method is pretty easy to kind of distill the GCF, what they all have in common, all of them, whether it's one, two, or, th uh, two or three or more, 
and then the leaf coming off whole forms a nice little L. So if you like this method and you found it helpful, share it with your teacher because I've never seen this method and I've been teaching for 16 years, so they probably haven't either. Okay, best wishes. Enjoy.